I want you to check something out. Do you remember this big round wheel? This was at the bottom of the dishwasher. And you know, I had to pull everything off and this is where this, this goes. This is not in the exact order, but anyways. Remember that noise? Well, it was a two-part problem. This was all messed up. And remember, I got, got underneath the dishwasher and there was this piece here that was twisting around and I couldn't figure out how to get that and I was hoping to pull this whole thing apart to get to it. Well, I pulled it apart all right, you know, and I was trying to get this out. Well, I ended up deciding, you know, this is getting a little complicated. I'm not really an appliance guy. I called my appliance man, a friend of mine. He came over, took a look at it, and he said this whole thing had to be replaced. And the first glance, I was like, how on earth is he going to have to get that out of there? I thought he was going to have to pull the whole dishwasher out from underneath the cabinet and all that. And I'm like, oh, great. How are we going to get to this? We're going to have to take this motor up apart and get get all these bolts out of there and how are we going to be able to do that to get to there and he's like oh well you know when something like that happens this is not supposed to be twisting like that by the way and that's what was making that screeching noise when I was turning on the dishwasher and so he said oh I got another part like that and it was the whole unit and I says well how are you going to get that out and let me tell you in about 15 minutes he had it all out well, I don't suggest you do that, but I'm going to kind of explain to you uh, how he did it. Uh, there was the dishwasher bottom portion. He got underneath the dishwasher, and this whole assembly is held by some little thumb turns. You see that? That was in there like that, and here's another one over here, and here's another one. So there's like three of those. And he reached under, he crawled underneath there. You know, you have to take the front off the dishwasher. And then he just reached under there and, and undid these. He pushed these over sideways, you know. And then he reached inside the dishwasher and pulled this all the way out. Now the drain, the drain gets hooked on um, right to here. And he undid that. And he pulled this whole thing out, plopped the other one down. Before he plopped it down, there's a rubber gasket that goes around here. I don't have this old one. There used to be a gasket around there. And on the new one, there was a new gasket. And he put a little dishwashing soap on there, just a little bit. And he put it down in there. Uh, first, he hooked, up, he hooked up the drain pipe right here. And he just lifted the drain pipe right up out of that hole at the bottom of your dishwasher. You know, I think you know what I'm, what I'm saying here. Just follow me here. He hooked that up. Then he pushed this back down in there. Okay? And then he made sure he got it down there nice and straight. Because he said that's the tricky part about it. The tricky part is to get this nice and straight. And then he reached down under there and turn these thumb turns back out and that holds underneath the dishwasher and that gives it a tight seal so you have to get that seal really good and then you tighten and then you just flip these over and and it tightens right up and then he ran it through a cycle made sure it didn't leak now if you're so inclined you think you can do that you know and you know know this whole motor motor needs to be uh, replaced and in our case it did because of this little piece right here that was the one that was giving me fits and he said that it snapped off and that's why the whole thing had to be replaced and if you think you can do that you know replace it yourself now if you're not mechanically inclined and you know if that's not if that's not what it was you know, maybe it's something else that has nothing to do with this motor. I wouldn't be replacing this motor if you don't have to. This is, this is pretty pricey. Depending how old your dishwasher is, you know, you might be able to get a cheap dishwasher for $300 or so. 
And I forget how much this motor assembly was, $125, $150, something like that. And um, then I had to pay him to install it, you know. But the little dishwasher I had, that was a special one. Those were over $600 and it was only five years old. So I opted to go ahead and replace the motor. Now, uh, in yours, if it's a standard 24-inch dishwasher, you know, you might be able to get a brand new one for $250 or less. So, you know, before you start having to replace parts, you know, this was $25, this was $150 or so, and there's other things that could go wrong with your dishwasher. You know, before you do all that, you might want to make mention of, okay, how old is your dishwasher? Is it time to replace your dishwasher anyways? Have you been thinking about that? You might want to do it now, but if you don't have the money, if you think your dishwasher is still has four or five years of life in it, you know, check these different things out, and I think you can fix it yourself. Guess it's time to take this out to the trash. But you know, next time your dishwasher starts acting up, don't start making an assumption that it needs to be replaced right here and right now. You know, do a little bit of investigating. Put your inspector hat on, get your flashlight, and do the same types of things that I was doing. Maybe not to the extent of pulling this whole thing apart, you know. But it might be something that I've showed you on one of my videos. And it might be something simple. You know, check those things out first before you call the big boys out.